not only was Jimmy just like dishing out misinformation, but was actually producing misinformation by promoting a graphic that purported to be um, written by Fortune magazine that in fact was a highly edited paragraph that totally distorted the essence and the, the, the spirit and the letter of the uh, Fortune piece. And apparently Jimmy Dore got very nervous about getting demonetized on YouTube because you're not allowed to spread vaccine uh, disinformation there. And I imagine some of his YouTube reps said, hey man, you gotta fix this. And he only, uh, I don't know if he fixed uh, all of it, but he came out and he fixed this. And this is hilarious because um, he's both admitting to never actually reading anything and also blaming his producer who is just some rando. Well, is he or she a rando? Or I don't know. Let's let's listen to the Jimmy Dore uh, video here. Right. Yeah. When we originally reported this, this graphic here is incorrect. This graphic here was put together by my producer and he joined together two sentences that didn't go together and he added a word despite. So if you're going to add a word, you have to put brackets around it so people know you've added a word and it wasn't in the source text. He didn't do that. And then he changed the tense of these two words to make it fit syntac syntactically or grammatically with the rest of the sentence. Now, you can combine two sentences, but you have to put a dot, dot, dot. And then so people know that you've, you're you're jumping ahead. And so but that didn't do that. Plus, that was supposed to be a period. And he put a comma that and then he put this and it actually changed the meaning of this sentence. Uh it, it, it didn't piece. mean what they, so by the way doesn't change so i have to cover that right because pause that it, was pause fucked it, up pause it pause it pause it, pause, and, it. pause it now there he almost says it doesn't change the meaning of the fortune piece but remember now jimmy's got to be careful because he's 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 not doing this because he wants to correct the record because he has so much integrity um and he prides himself on not delivering misinformation He's doing this because he's afraid of getting demonetized. So he can't say it doesn't change the meaning of it because the, it did fundamentally change the meaning of that story. You can go back and look at the Sean uh, video or, or even our coverage of it. So uh, go back and keep going. I just want people to just watch with this in mind. He is walking a tightrope here. that didn't do that plus that was supposed to be a period and he put a comma that and then he put this and it actually changed the meaning of this sentence uh it it, it didn't mean what they, so by the way doesn't change so i have to cover that right because that was fucked up and i didn't know about that i had to trust my producer that we went over the story he put it together i had no idea he was gonna take two sentences jam them together and add a word without putting it in a bracket so i had no idea when i did this uh this segment originally that that had happened uh that was done by my producer who put it together i asked him why he did it and he didn't really have a good excuse he said i was in a hurry i got sloppy and i'm stupid Unfortunately, he can't be with us anymore because I can't have someone on like that who's sloppy, stupid, and does something like that. Right. Uh, and yeah, so, unfortunately, it, he's no it, longer with it, us. So someone he can't because no. there's only room for one sloppy, stupid, yeah. incompetent person at this show, and it's got to be him. I'm the sloppy and stupid one. I'm really sloppy. I mean, do you know, Sam, when I mess up or if, like, say I don't get something right or Matt or Bradley, you know, we always come to you and say, I'm sloppy and I'm stupid, right? That's, <laughs> I, well, that's what I, 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 I make you. That's what I, I stand. I, I put the sign up where it says, say you're sloppy and stupid to me because yeah. uh, that's uh, what I want to. All right. Ready? Keep keep playing this. Yeah. The, the, there's other aspects of this. And just yeah, also keep going. Just seems very realistic that that's how yeah. it is talk to their boss right unfortunately he can't be with us anymore because i can't have someone on like that who's sloppy stupid and does something like that 
Uh, and so, unfortunately, he's no longer with us. So someone's played a price for this. So, but Singapore's growing caseload has raised alarms nonetheless because of the speed at which cases have climbed. And there's a period. And we had, but he put a comma, and then he jumps down to here. The policy included... So and then he tried to then then he said, despite policies, including stay at home, that is not accurate. And then he again, he didn't put the brackets. And then so that was wrong. And that was effed up. And the reason why we're correcting that is because it was brought to my attention and I figured out that actually happened oh. and I'm correcting it because we pause have it. integrity at the show. Pause That's it, all we it. have pause is it. Pause our it. word. OK, first off, first off, you notice like even when he's showing what it actually said in the first place, he's cutting off the paragraph before that, that it, that contextualizes how much, this wasn't just sloppiness. This was a change in the meaning of the story, not just as written, but in reality. Okay, which was, numbers have gone up, but relative to where they were before, because before we were in total lockdown. And now we're not in total lockdown. We're vaccinated, but we're not in total lockdown. There has been such a radical change in behavior of our individuals in society that there's going to be an uptick in infections, even though the vaccines diminish the, the communica uh, communicability of this uh, virus. And then he pretends that someone called it to his attention as opposed to the video that Sean put out that got over 300,000 views. And counting. And counting. I think it's closer to half a million at this point. The guy, the guy lies multiple times in his video about how he lied the first time. And now there's this like producer. Let's just like... Before we get to the idea of, of whether this producer actually exists, and I want to make it clear, and I'm going to make this offer throughout uh, our conversation. If you are that producer, we'll interview you. Very curious to see your perspective on this. Yeah. Um, very curious. Because, I mean, Jimmy, in his video about you, working man supporter Jimmy, uh, called you sloppy and stupid. We can't have someone sloppy and stupid. Not that you made a mistake. Not that you, you know, we're, we're giving him what he clearly we're giving wanted. Him what he wanted. Not any of that. Not that you were doing exactly what he wanted for, you know, working backwards from the premise of his video, which was anti-vax material that can still slip under the YouTube algorithm. Um, no, you individually are sloppy and stupid. Very progressive of him and gracious to after firing somebody and getting taking away their income, which I thought that's why he was against these vaccine mandates, hey, right? Because somebody's got to pay the price. You don't want people losing their. I don't want people losing their fucking jobs or vaccine mandates, right? Uh, you just let somebody go for a simple mistake and then disparage them, sloppy and stupid. This very real human being. Please, good sir, he said he in this, come forward if you do exist and let us know because that is not within the values that Jimmy Dore purports about treating people and employees with respect and keeping them employed despite maybe their opposition to vaccines or other mistakes. You could, the alternate version that you've laid out here is where Jimmy says, we messed up. The buck stops with me on this program. If I'm going to say words, I make sure that they're true. And uh, any mistakes that were made by my producers is on me, and I accept the responsibility for that and not fired the guy. Yeah. But let's just walk through this for a moment. I've read a story in Fortune magazine. I've read it. I've assessed what it means. I've said, Matt, give me a graphic. Give me a graphic from the story. Do a tear sheet from this story. Now, when we do tear sheets, we literally just do a tear sheet, screenshot. Right? which is we just do a screenshot of the actual thing or we scroll through the video. But let's pretend that we didn't do that, that I wanted you to formulate a paragraph that is the essence of this story. Um, do we not want like, do we like, how does that work? So Matt, Give me a graphic that says the essence of the story. And then what do you say to me? Can I just uh, screenshot this paragraph here or? No, 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 no. 
I want you to write up a graphic that summarizes the story. So you want me to compose copy based on the original stuff? Can I just cut and paste it? No, just write it up, write it up, write it up in some way. And then I, I, I will read it on air, but I won't read it before then. And even when I read it on air, I won't notice that it is completely distorting the essence of the story. That's, this is that's, that's Jimmy's defense. And then I say, oh, you got to go because you're sloppy at and summarizing stupid. And, and stupid. stupid. Right. So you just come to me and you say, like, uh, uh, Matt, why did you do this? Why did you add this word and completely change the nature of the story? Well, he probably just didn't read it before if that was the case. Right. I mean, you know, what he kind of dolt. Yeah. Well, that's in watches this show. Like, I understand if you're anti-vax. You're OK with this, because at the end of the day, uh, you know, the, you're going to read into the essence of all of this anyways. You're just going to say Fortune magazine is covering anyway, so it would be inaccurate. You don't care. But if you're not anti-vax, what kind of dolt actually watches that and believes that Jimmy is telling? And frankly, like, how is YouTube going to pretend that this guy's not putting out anti-vax stuff? I mean, honestly, give me a break. But let's put up uh, put up a, a tweet about the um, uh, the actual uh, Fortune article. Good. The uh, this is the uh, apparently the writer of the. Yeah. Sorry, Matt, Sam. Um, I wrote an article. Uh, wait, wait, Matt. Will you summarize this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the I, author of the original Fortune piece who is commenting on this now. I wrote an article about Singapore's recent outbreak that was misquoted and rearranged in a vaccine skeptics video broadcast to hundreds of thousands of people on YouTube. The video's host, Jimmy Dore, says he didn't actually read the article before posting the video. This is a thread. You can go down. Yeah. Here's the actual article, he says. Doors, yeah. And Doors show combined two entirely different sentences in the article to insinuate that COVID spread despite COVID zero high vaccine rates. In reality, the article says um, SG's numbers started to rise after transitioning from zero COVID to living with the virus. Zero huh. COVID is the total lockdown. Yes. So living with the virus, which is what he talks about all the time, basically, we just need to start doing this because you're going to get COVID anyway. You're just going to get it. We just need to just stop caring. Uh, actually led to the problems in this article that he fabricated a summary over. Interesting. Yesterday, Dor acknowledged the error and said he fired a producer for misquoting my article, but he also said the mistake didn't change the thrust of his argument and has not taken down the original video. I mean... Integrity is uh, all we have. It's all we have. But I mean, the video is still doing numbers. <laughs> still doing numbers. So now let's get into whether or not this producer is real. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's possible. It's possible that the producer is real. I mean, uh, it makes him look better though that he fired somebody else beneath him for that mistake. It's it's I don't know how people and that's e that it's either that right. It's either what, which is what I think is true, which is that it's mostly his wife and him that work on it. She uh, is identified as the producer on the show. OK, so that so either they deliberately change this article for misinformation or keeping it up. So it, they can't be that embarrassed if they're keeping it up. Or, or, which is the less likely scenario, this producer did change it without Jimmy's direction and he fired someone under him and he didn't read or do any work before putting something on air. Neither of those situations make him look particularly good. Nope. That's, uh, I mean, there's really not much else to say. Well, I'm a betting woman. I, I, you, you know this, right? I like sometimes doing a little bit of gambling. Um, I would bet a, a lot of money that this producer's not real. A, a lot of money. A lot of money. Maybe we should hear from the producer. And then, you know, maybe that would be my form of betting. You know, I'll take you out to dinner, producer. Uh, if you, uh, that, that'll be me putting my money where my mouth is on this bet. Uh, if you do, if you do come, come forward with this. Um, fly out, make Look, sure you're all cozy, and I'll take you. We all know the story of Patrick who around here uh, this on this show, um, you know, did a bad job in talking to um, uh, Gavin McGinnis. And um, Patrick has since been fired uh, multiple times, actually. Patrick's actually been fired more times than he was even hired on this program. That's how 
how seriously I take, um, you know, these uh, these infractions. So, again, no commissary privileges for Patrick. Patrick, yeah, of course not. That's the first thing to go.